Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com, and this is going to be a fast video just to let you know that I got the pattern done for my mousse. Now, if you'd like to make a mousse of your own, you can find this pattern on my website at UltimatePaperMache.com slash mousse pattern. There's a hyphen in there. And if you just happen to type in UltimatePaperMache.com slash mousse, this is what you're going to find. <laughs> this is so cool. This is Bindi's uh, Siamese cat. One of those is actually real. It's a really nice sculpture, so I do suggest that you go see it. Thank you, Bindi, for showing it to us. But if, if you want to actually see this fellow, then go ahead and type in the whole thing, and I'll put a link to it right down below so you can just click on it. Now, there are already four different videos that I've made, and I've put them on that page. It is a little bit more challenging than some of the other patterns that I have, like for these guys. There are so many bumps and ridges on, on his face. They've got very interesting faces. And obviously he has more, uh, what are you going to call it, decorations or something. <laughs> With the, um, with the antlers and the, this dewlap thing, and there's just more stuff on a moose than on a regular animal. So it's, gun it's not a, a fast project. If you have somebody that you know that absolutely has to have a moose in a couple of days, then this might not be the way to go. It, uh, well, paper mache isn't fast anyway. Everything has to dry. But it, even with the pattern, it's just going to take a little bit of time. But I think it's going to be really worth it once it's done. Now, we are going to get it painted. You don't need to paint it, though, uh, as a matter of fact. I, it, do you remember the African mask that I made uh, maybe last year or year before to show you how to make a, a paper mache mask over a clay model? That one was made with brown paper, exactly the same paper as this, as a matter of fact. It's just the paper that comes out of Amazon boxes. And then I stained it with a transparent glaze of acrylic paint. And it looks just like it was made out of carved wood. It looks really nice. And this fellow would look really nice that way too. I, I, I think that would be really wonderful. Just um, varnishing the paper would be really pretty too. But I am going to have this one painted. So if you'd like to make a mousse using my pattern, you can find it now. There's a small charge for it, and like I said, you can find it right there, or click on the link that's down below. Um, we'll have the, the final video on that page and up here on my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully in a week or so, uh, when, he, when he gets his final uh, paint on there. I can't wait to see how it actually turns out when it's done. We have two other really cool videos coming up. My daughter is going to show us how to mix some colors with latex paint. I told her that a whole lot of people were really interested in learning how to do that, and she's actually on her way to, to come out and um, put that video together right now. So that's coming up really soon. I'm also going to start in on an easier project, one that doesn't need a pattern. Um, I'm hoping to make a dancing blue-footed booby. It's, it's basically, I'm going to uh, put that one together to show you how to get a bird sculpture to balance on two feet. And I thought it would just be a little extra challenge to make him dance. So we'll see if that's going to work. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And then uh, in the meantime, go check out my moose and then come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.